everyone welcome back to the svv channel i hope you all are having a good day so i know that we all are facing lockdown right now that is due to the pandemic caused by corona virus now corona is a virus do you know what do you mean by a virus well a virus is a microorganism now what do you mean by microorganisms from where do they come from how are they known as microorganisms there are so many questions regarding it so let us get started with the chapter microorganisms a friend and foe now the organisms which can only be seen through microscope are known as microorganisms as simple as that so there are five different classification of microorganisms they can be classified into bacteria viruses fungi protozoan and algae and we are going to study all this in detail get ready then so let's start with bacteria they are very small single celled microorganisms which have cell walls but do not have an organized nucleus and other structures bacteria are found in large numbers everywhere in air soil water every surface around us on our bodies and even inside our bodies they are larger than viruses but still are very small there are mainly three groups of bacteria on the basis of their shapes spherical bacteria also known as cocci rod shaped bacteria also known as bacilli and spiral bacteria the two very common examples of bacteria are lactobacillus bacteria and rhizopium bacteria some of the bacteria are useful and help in making food like curd nitrogen fixation and decomposition of waste organic matter on the other hand some of the bacteria causes disease some of the human disease caused by bacteria are cholera typhoid tuberculosis diphtheria whooping cough so students we already studied about bacteria now moving on to the viruses they are smallest microorganisms which can develop only inside the cells of the host organisms which may be an animal a plant or a bacterium viruses are much smaller than bacteria they do not show most of the characteristics of living things viruses are able to reproduce only inside the cells of other organisms it can be animal cells plant cells or bacterial cells as they can only reproduce inside a host organisms that is why they are also known as a link between living and non living viruses are also known as agents of disease they cause a variety of disease in human beings other than animals and plants the human diseases such as common cold influenza measles polio chickenpox and smallpox are all caused by viruses the two most common example of virus are common cold virus and well the very famous virus that is corona virus then next we will move on to the protozoa so protozoa they are a group of single celled microorganisms which are classified as animals protozoa are animal like just as algae are plant like they are found in ponds lakes dirty water drains rivers sea water and damp soil some very common examples of protozoa are amoeba paramecium enta amoeba and plasmodium there are certain protozoas which causes certain diseases diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoa next we are going to study is algae so algae is a large group of simple plant like organisms they contain chlorophyll and hence can produce a food by photosynthesis just like plants 
algae however differ from plants because they do not have proper roots stems and leaves some of the very common examples of algae are clematidomonas spirogyra blue green algae and many more algae are not only found in unicellular forms but are very commonly found in multicellular as well next we are going to learn about fungi so fungi are a large group of organisms which do not have chlorophyll and do not perform photosynthesis some very common examples of fungi are mushrooms yeast bread molds penicillium and aspergillus some fungi look like plants but they cannot make their own food like plants do most of the fungi are saprophytes which feed on dead things like remains of dead plants and animals some of the fungi are parasites they feed on living things and causes disease the fungi like yeast and molds are very small in size and can be seen clearly only with a microscope thus yeast and molds are the fungi which can be considered to be microorganisms the fungi such as mushroom are bigger in size some of the human disease are caused by fungi are ringworm and athlete's foot so students from this video what did you all learned first what are microorganisms secondly what are the different types of microorganisms and how are they different from each other i hope that now you have a better understanding for what are microorganisms in our next video we are going to learn about the pathogenic and non pathogenic microorganisms that is the harmful and the non harmful or useful microorganisms so stay tuned for that now after this uh, you are going to get a set of questions that you need to do it okay they are just to test your knowledge i hope you all are doing your assignments properly so till then wait for my next video and stay home stay safe so these are the questions you need to do in homework thank you all for watching the video Bye bye take care